Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Well, hello scientist Yeah, as usual, I will call you scientist because you are in science class Hmm, what we will learn today? Uh, why is suddenly cold here? It's like being in Antarctica. Hmm. Well, it's warmer now. Okay, based on the previous illustration, what do you think will be the concept for today? Hmm, yeah, cold. Okay, hot. That. Heat, yeah. Warm, okay. One word that can combine all the words earlier. Mm. Yeah, good. Temperature. That's right. On this video, we are going to learn about temperature. And then, how can we measure the temperature? Actually, with our sense, touch, we can determine whether an object is hot or cooled. But can we measure the temperature? Let's try this experiment. Let's go! This is a basic experiment. I have three buckets. On my right is a bucket filled with warm water. On my left is a bucket filled with cold water. And this, a filled bucket, hmm, just tap water. I can feel the water in this bucket is warm. Okay scientists, be careful when dipping your hands in warm water. However, my hand doesn't have an indicator showing what the temperature of this water is. Likewise, when I put the hand in this bucket, I can feel the water is cold, but I don't know what the temperature is because my hand it doesn't have a temperature indicator, so it can be concluded to determine the temperature of an object. We need certain measuring instrument, and it's cold. Do you know? Yeah, good! A thermometer. There are many types of thermometers. This is a thermometer that we may often see namely the liquid thermometer why is it called a liquid thermometer do you know because in this thermometer there is a liquid it can be mercury or alcohol and why the liquid used is mercury or alcohol because these liquids react quickly to changes in temperature besides it has a wide temperature range but mercury is highly toxic to human, so alcohol such as tolan and ethyl alcohol is safer to use as a liquid filler in the thermometers. This is a bimetal thermometer. B means two, so this thermometer uses two metals, namely copper and iron, because it's very sensitive to changes in temperature. Next is the liquid crystal thermometer. Liquid crystal thermometers use liquid crystals that are liquid and solid as a temperature indicator. This thermometer can change color due to factors of temperature, pressure, electric current, magnetic field, and chemical contact. For example, if a thermometer is placed on the forehead of a person whose body temperature is being measured, uh, look at the picture, yeah. One of the columns changes color and it means that the person's body temperature is the same as the number listed in the column. Right? There is also a digital thermometer and a thermogun. I challenge you to find out how the two thermometers work, especially the thermogun is it dangerous for us 
because we know it emits infrared. Later, we will discuss together. Are you ready for the challenge? Now we know that a thermometer is a tool for measuring temperature. Then, what unit is used on each thermometer? Yeah, good. Celsius, Remor, Fahrenheit, and Kelvin. Kelvin is the international unit of temperature because Kelvin is more stable than other degrees of temperature. And Kelvin has absolute zero, so there is no need to use the degree symbol. Here's a comparison of Celsius, Remor, Fahrenheit, Kelvin thermometer scales. Hi! Hello! This water has 45 degrees Celsius. Do you have a Fahrenheit thermometer? Because I want to know. I'm sorry, I don't have Fahrenheit thermometer. But I think you don't need to use mm. Fahrenheit thermometer to know in Fahrenheit scale because yeah, yeah, you yeah, just yeah, yeah. convert it using mathematical okay. calculation like this. First, you have to remember the comparison of temperature scale. Celsius, Remor, Fahrenheit and Kelvin Ah This is a key concept of the comparison temperature scale. I give you 10 seconds to remember this concept, yeah? <laughs> Just kidding, you can rewind this video to see again this concept. Okay? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and good job remember this it will help you okay and now calculate wow it's okay it's okay 45 degrees celsius to degree Fahrenheit ha ah, first we have to know the comparison Celsius and Fahrenheit And the answer is 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Next question, 113 degrees Fahrenheit into blah 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 degree Remor. Okay, as usual, first of all, we have to remember the comparison of temperature scale. The answer is 36 degree rem. Ta-da! Okay scientists, do you understand? Or any question? Alhamdulillah, that's good. So, it's time to exercise. Are you ready? Let's go.
Whew. I think we drained quite a bit of energy after doing a lot of calculation earlier. How about now we do a fun experiment? Yeah! Let's prepare the tools and materials. Let's go! 20 minutes later. What did you get from this experiment? Yup, right, plastics become inflated because the fire underneath. This event is called expansion, expansion of the gas. Expansion occurs due to the changes in temperature. Here is the illustration. The molecules have high agitation when it was heated, so they move far away while the molecules have low agitation when it was not heated. Expansion also occurs in solids, for instance, in the installation of railroads, like this. Yeah, there is a gap between the iron joints to prevent the iron from bending due to expanding iron. And in the liquid, expansion occurs in thermometer and do you know bottles of syrup soy sauce sauces cooking oil never fully filled so as not to spill if it expands okay thanks for today's scientists alhamdulillah we have learned about temperature and expansion experiment hmm if you have any question send me a comment below or maybe you can DM on Instagram at class Kusuru. okay see you on the next video bye wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh bye bye